Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I have in shop Big Baby Toyota Tundra V8 four wheel drive with that 4.7 liter I Force 185,000 miles on the clock. Big Baby, because she has a presence. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful truck, wonderful engine, as you recognize immediately. We sometimes say bulletproof because they just keep running perfectly and all they need a maintenance. And the owner is doing maintenance and he's going through the list I made for him when he hired me for the detail inspection. This is definitely star of this channel. We film a bunch of stuff. And today we finally will be doing important spark plugs. And I love to use those dancers because that's how the vehicle left the factory when it was brand new. So it's a SK20R11. You need eight of them. If you have them, you are ready to do this relatively simple and painless procedure. So where shall we start? On the passenger side where is perfect access? Or on the driver side which is a little bit more annoying? Let's go and start on the passenger. That will give us a warm up. We will get perfect at it and then we will move on the other side. If you look I have those coils marked. It's not because I did spark plugs and forgot that I did that. I believe I was doing valve cover gaskets for him and not to mix and up mix and match those coils. I put nicely numbers on them. I highly recommend to you do it the same and not mix them up. Dealing with lighting and how to position camcorder for you and so on was pretty challenging recently since it's December and it's not so much light coming from outside, huh? But hopefully you will be able to observe the whole procedure. You see these clap clamps? They sometimes don't want to go off. So you have to be patient because you don't want to break this. And then it will be not secured on that coil. So I remove the wire. Now I will use 10 millimeter. Which is right here. Carefully. You can use power tool removing the ball. Here goes the ball. Here comes out the first coil. Was good to wipe it off. See if there are no leaks. But as you can see, I did those valve covers correctly, so that there's no oil in the spark plug tube. These are still the large spark plugs, so it's that normal standard 5/8 spark plug socket. I love to use this long one from Snap-on and here using just hand tools, don't use power tools. These are aluminum heads and I tell you, very easy to damage the thread. You, prob you probably remember the videos I filmed for you. On the opposite side of this engine in the number five cylinder and I bought that Sequoia it was same year 2005 so the same year the same engine there was strip thread and as you can see somebody already replaced this these are the NGK's iridiums IFR 6A11 so it's a correct one I believe for this engine it's an option. I definitely prefer Denso's. As I said, they, they are coming with the vehicle 
and I like then so over NGK. So let's see what we've got in these boxes. Okay, they are sideways. Now these iridium spar plugs are super high quality. I believe they are rated the changes 105,000 miles. So you don't replace them very often. Most importantly, what I would like to stress out here is these iridium tips on it. You see how it's protective here? Is it correctly visible? Yes. This is here for a reason that when it's being shipped it doesn't bounce around or these tips are not being scratched. So the space between these tips is 1.1 millimeter but it's not adjustable so this is really important and that's why I'm making this video. I would like to bring up all this to your attention if you do it yourself. That's a past when you have been adjusting these tips, the space between the tips. So not anymore. Be careful, don't scrape it. So I will grab the wrench. As you know there is a rubber so it holds it inside. It will not come out of it. And when I'm putting it in the spar plug tube, I don't want to be hitting anything with the tip. Some of you like to put here some entices and it will be copper based entices. Let me show it to you. Some of you hate it and say no, 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 I will never put it there. So what shall we do today? Put it there or not put it there, huh? Let's not put it there. Let's go with your opinions. So I'm carefully putting it down. I don't want to hit anything with that tip. And look, by the hand only, please. Don't use power, don't use power tools. Don't rush this. There is inner risk stripping the thread in this head and that will be catastrophe. Look at it. It's at the very end. I cannot move it anymore by the hand. So how we will torque it? This is obviously not enough. How we will torque it? So when we look on this box together there are actually instructions by the pictures how to install it. How to torque it. And they are basically showing amounts of turns. I don't use this. I use torque wrench for this. So I will grab this snap-on torque wrench and we discussed that in different videos. I will change it from the foot pounds to the Newton meters because this is a metric vehicle. Newton meters. And I will go down to 18. 1 8. And that will be for me, that's my way to deal with this. To torque it correctly, not to damage. Of course, this light is in the way right now, sorry. So I'm carefully, I'm feeling everything. And I'm slowly and perfectly torquing that spark plug. Did you hear that? 17.7 .7. I will nicely put the coil back feel it nicely sitting. This is the 10 millimeter. If I use the low torque here on the tool which is number one low I'm not afraid of stripping this bolt. Perfect. It's nicely tight. I connect this connector until it clicks you heard that? And basically this is how you do spar plugs on this 2UZ FE. Isn't this absolutely awesome and fun to do? And all of them are absolutely identical 
easy to see so I don't think it will be pointless to film every single one of them I just wanted to show you how it's done that the access is perfect and I will assume everybody with a little bit of mechanical skill should be able to replace it themselves I hope you find it interesting and helpful and be subscribed I have way more stuff coming your way soon Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.